Who is this? <laughs> What's good, man? Good morning. Now I'm back. Once every time it's always like that. Every year, once I'm back in Bowler, it's time to hit it. Back to three workouts a day. Back on the program. So today I'm gonna run 30 minutes right now. I had a harder treadmill set yesterday. And um, then I'll go swim 4,000, also just aerobic. Today's this volume day, so you know, my blocks where it's uh, kind of intensity, volume, intensity, volume, rest day. And so today's a volume day, and then so we'll finish with a three hour ride. We'll see, it's pretty cold out today. Um, yesterday I rode outside almost two hours, it was 25 degrees. Um, but today we'll see, there might be a wind chill. It might be same temperature, but with a wind chill, which would make it really, really cold. So we'll see. Um, I think, yeah, I'm coming out of the off season a little fitter than I've been in the past. And um, yeah, we've been talking with Mikhail, uh, my coach, and yeah, he was saying just, well, especially just with the fitness I showed in the last race of the season, I was finishing at a higher level. So then I took my two weeks off and then, so obviously, I started at a, a bit higher level too. And he was saying, just uh, yeah, we can carry that on and build to even higher. So, yeah, um, pretty confident for this year, but just have to manage always, just not get injured and not have any bad luck. That's what I was saying to you in the last video. Um, I hope this year is the first year where I don't have any issue. You know, COVID, mono, stomach parasite. Uh, collarbone crash so so are you pretty confident that if you can avoid kind of those setbacks that you can get to a point where we could say you'll be a world champion yeah I think um, I mean obviously it's the process but as you said if I don't have any problem train consistent everything goes well which is you know the biggest battle really <laughs> of triathlon is getting there fit and having done the work but I know that if I can do it this year at least, I'll be uh, I'll be confident. At least I have a shot at the win, which till now I've never really thought I could win a Worlds. But uh, yeah, I'm getting there. Isn't that such a big part of it too? Like, just like believing and like truly believing that you can like do it. Yeah, no, it's massive. But obviously, it doesn't doesn't just come like that. You have to. It's just something that builds throughout the years, you know? Like when you're young, sometimes you think, oh, maybe I am just what I am, and there's no way I'll ever be those best guys. But then you just build little by little by performance and training, performance and racing, confidence builds little by little. But then you can lose it, you know, some bad races, some sickness injury. So it's a bit of a roller coaster. But um, yeah, it is very important, obviously, for performance. Like the mind kind of guides you. What was there like any uh, like key moment, like pivotal moment these past maybe two years or one year that you're like, shit, like I can do this, like I can be a world champion? Mm. I mean, t Texas somewhat, but the, um, you know, you look at all the aspects, swim bike was very good, run was also quite good, but if you're running 245, you're not really in a position to win a world's. But then you have uh, Ironman Worlds in Nice, Worlds towards the front of the race, the whole race. And um, even though Sam Laidlow was still, what, six minutes ahead? I was, you know, in there in the race with the guys like Ditlev, who are, you know, Ironman distance world record holder. And uh, with the top guys. And then in Florida, another build, 238 marathon at that point. And with the leaders the whole ride, on the pancake flat course, which is not the best for me. But I can, as I said, I can race anywhere. I'm not mentally like, putting myself down for any course. So yeah, that was a good build this year in terms of that. So I'm pumped for next year. Hell yeah. So we're gonna do it? Time to run. It all starts here. A 30 minute run <laughs> on a Friday morning. <laughs>
All right. So talk to me a little bit about your direction this year. You know, there's obviously two series that are going on, the PTO series and the Ironman series. What direction are you taking? Um, and kind of what does the first part of the year look like for you? Yeah, I mean, um, with my ranking of seventh in the world, a spot in the PT, I got a contract for the PTO tour. So I'm definitely going to do that. And um, well, the dates aren't really out yet, but uh, it'll start, should start in March in the US. And um, so I'll do the PTO tour for the first half of the year. And then uh, I'll head to Roth for my first time there. Challenge Roth. And then a um, couple more PTOs and then big prep for Kona. And then uh, finish again with some grand final PTOs in November. So we're heading to the pool, North Boulder Rec Center. Really close to home, like four or five minutes from home. So it's pretty nice, pretty convenient. So the swim will be about, this is a yard pool. I'm used to swimming in meters pool, but the other club where we used to swim at the, the Colorado Athletic Club in Central Boulder closed and they're going to open the lifetime there. But that's going to take six years to a, a six months to a year to open. So we're swimming here right now, 25 yards, and the set should be about 4,000 yards. Um, kind of a typical Simon Lessing set. It will be printed out, so you, you'll be able to show it, show the whole set. And uh, yeah, just I'll go aerobic. I mean, it, it does say there's uh, all the paces are as easy, steady, or easy, moderate, steady, hard. That's his, that's his for his four zones, and uh, but I'll do it mostly aerobic. So Mikal does get me swims, yeah. But I I more follow kind of the intensity rather than the sets. But I do um, well. Actually, it's what I was telling you last year. I don't the swim is the part where I don't really follow. I uh, progress it more throughout the months. Because if I followed what McCall is giving me right now, I would be already doing, you know, 10, 300s threshold, you know. But I'm keeping those harder sets for a bit closer to the race. Right now I'm focusing on the aerobic base and kind of VO2 max speed. So not like full on speed, but definitely uh, kind of like uh, first two, two, 300 of a race, you know. So I'll have the base and I'll have kind of that, be able to, you know, really change gears when I need in a race. And that's honestly most of it. 